We are back, ladies and gentlemen, for our co-main event of the evening. It is a non-title heavyweight bout. I got that wrong earlier, but it is a heavyweight co-main event of the evening. We've got Lewis Rumsey fighting Adam Milstead. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for the bout. We've got Adam Milstead. He's 28 years of age, 6 feet 3 inches tall, 200 and, I'm sorry, he's 205 pounds with a professional record of five wins and one loss. He is taking on Lewis Rumsey, 25 years of age, 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 228 pounds with a professional record of 11 wins and 12 losses. This is going to be a very exciting fight to me, Chuck. I love watching the heavyweights fight. I love watching Adam Milstead fight. Yeah, I'm very partial to the heavyweight division, you know, and we don't have a lot of really tough heavyweights around right now, but this is going to be a great one. Absolutely. Let's send it over to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, to call on the fighters. Team Vicious MMA, Lewis Rumsey, blue corner, Lewis Rumsey! Lewis Rumsey making his way to the cage, a Gladiators of the Cage veteran, a very highly touted professional fighter. He's had 23 professional bouts. Uh, I would say more than almost anybody else competing here tonight. Yeah, 13 amateur fights, 36 total fights. Uh, this guy's really, and he brings it every time. He's only 25 years old, Grant. Hey, Chuck. What's hey, up? Hey, Chuck. Do you like Pittsburgh? I love Pittsburgh, Grant. Do you like the Internet? Well, of course, who doesn't? Well, I'm asking if you do specifically, because if you do like Pittsburgh, and you do like the Internet, and you like local happenings around Pittsburgh, I would suggest to you that you visit a website, all right? You got you got that web, the web browser on your computer, your phone. Go ahead and go to streampittsburgh.com. That's www.stream, S-T-R-E-A-M, like a, like a brook stream, Pittsburgh, like the city we're in, dot com. On StreamPittsburgh.com, you can find all sorts of really great live videos that are, are filmed by Cut and Run Productions. You can find different events around the city that are that are uh, you know uh, broadcast for free on StreamPittsburgh.com. I should I should add everything on StreamPittsburgh.com is free. They are going to have the fights you're watching right now available to watch to to rebroadcast for free on StreamPittsburgh.com. Additionally, we are getting ready to have the Pittsburgh Comedy Festival that's going to be on StreamPittsburgh.com. And, uh, you know, we just recently also had the Vintage Grand Prix. A lot of old cars driving around really fast. One of our favorites. Did I say the word StreamPittsburgh.com yet? Because I want to just stress that if you go to StreamPittsburgh.com, you're going to see there's going to be a, a banner at the top of the web page. It's going to say StreamPittsburgh.com on it, all right? That's where you're going to watch all sorts of videos to stream in Pittsburgh. Where all was right. that again, Grant? It's, it's www.StreamPittsburgh.com. Sounds good. Adam Milstead making his way to the cage. I believe they call him the machine because he's he's a really big guy. This is a big dude. I got to see him in person, talk with him before the fights here tonight. And he was looking in great shape. He fights out of Fight Club Pittsburgh. He's had 12 amateur fights, uh, only lost two of those, and uh, to the same guy. Amazingly enough, uh, he's held three amateur titles. Um, he wrestled since his second grade of school and went on and wrestled after that. Um, he's originally from Maryland, but he's lived in right here in the Steel City for eight years now and. Um, He's yeah. ready to do this. I mean, absolutely. After watching uh, Lewis Rumsey's last fight, you know, he's a, he's a spectacular performer. Great fighter. He puts on a very gritty performance. I'm I'm very interested to see what a fighter like Adam Milstead is going to do against Rumsey. Milstead's, he's focused. He has a lot of tools in his toolbox. He's very polished. Uh, and he, he's here to win. You know, this is like, as, as a fighter, as a heavyweight, coming into a fight like this, this is one of the worst case scenarios looking across from this guy in the cage you know, definitely so and Lewis Rumsey though he's got a wealth of experience yeah absolutely you know let's let's send it over to our ring announcer Dan Bogan for the official hey, introduction ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening and it's in the gladiators of the cage professional heavyweight division first introducing out of the blue corner 
He weighed in 226 pounds. He stands 5'11". His reach is 70 and one half inches, 25 years of age. He's got a pro record of 11 wins, 12 losses. He fights for Gracie and EPA and Team Vicious MMA. Former Bellator fighter from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, Lewis the Beast Ramsey! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 230 pounds. He stands six feet, three inches tall, a 77 inch reach, 28 years of age. He's got a professional record of five wins and one loss. He fights for Fight Club Pittsburgh from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Adam, the prototype, Milstead. Let's go to Chip Snyder for the final instructions. I want you over here, Corby, please. Come over here so we can get you guys on the TV. There you go. Sorry about that, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, we went over the rules in the back. I expect you to obey them and me at all times. Uh, fight clean, fight hard. Any questions red? Any questions blue? Touch them and go back. Three, five minute rounds. Yeah, I am. This is going to be a really interesting fight. There's no doubt who the fan favorite the is. Also, hang loose oh, absolutely. Time. Rumsey's a tough guy, though. I mean, hey, I, I don't have any fight. doubt that whatever Dog Milstead's able to throw it at Rumsey's here, ready, okay. you know. He's faced it all before, you know. He, he's fought at uh, Rumsey's hey, fought at Bellator. I mean, he's fought at the highest levels okay. of MMA, and he's working his way. He wants to work his way back up on that national platform again. But this is going to be a difficult path to do it. Interesting note about Adam Mil Milstead. Have you guys, have you ever heard of the movie? Uh, have you watched The Fox Catcher? Have you seen that? I haven't seen it yet. Chris. It's a very very uh, pretty cool movie about the uh, the Fox Catcher wrestling team. Uh, either way, they filmed it in Pittsburgh, and a lot of the local Pittsburgh fighters end up being extras on these action movies. There was a, a couple, you know, fight movies that were filmed in Pittsburgh with guys who were extras. Either way, watch the Foxcatcher. The very, very last scene of the Foxcatcher, they show uh, one of the main characters going to have his very first MMA fight. And uh, in real life, the fight was, uh, it was against, oh boy, I can't think, who's the professional arm wrestler that was in Pride? Gary Goodridge. Gary, it, in real life, he fought Gary Goodridge. Either way, Adam Milstead plays the uh, the character. Blah blah blah. Watch the fox catcher. Very last scene. Guy standing in a cage. It's Adam Milstead. The doctor apparently is not in his seat right now. You know, the athletic commissions are really strict about the way things have to work. They have yeah. to have a doctor on site. They have to have a paramedic on site. The paramedic has to be within visual sight of the doctor. The doctor has to be ready. All these these cogs have to be in place, and I think the doctor's peeing right now. Even doctors have to pee, Green. Doctors do have to pee. Um, okay, Joe, you know, you I, I've been holding it for over three hours. You, you know, for Manny, is also there's a restroom. Is there a restroom up for Manny? Hey, there is. You know, I think I might go to Manny. Hey, Permanis. Sir, you Do you think he left? Sir, you Are you guys watching? He might have left and gone to Permanis, to oh. be honest with you. Oh, he's back. He must have grabbed a sandwich. Wow, they started quick, huh? Rumsey's not afraid to exchange. Neither is Milstead. But you're just waiting for Milstead to go for that takedown, aren't you? Wow. Yeah, just waiting for it. The thing about a wrestler with a high, as high a caliber as oh, that. Oh, there's that spinning back kick by Rumsey. He will throw. Oh, big overhand right, too. If you're a good enough wrestler like Milstead, you can be a little more have a little more disregard for your striking and just kind of throw crazier, harder punches if you're not as worried about being taken down. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Milstead's landing them shots. <laughs> He's right in the face of Ramsey. I mean, this kid has no fear. He's going to punch that face. There's a couple candidates for beard of the night, but there's no competition. <laughs> for hair of the night. None. Hands down, Rumsey. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis Rumsey looks like he got Heathcliff sitting on his head. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that, that just happened. Stop, Milstead, stop, stop, stop. It's over. Milstead finished him. It's over that quick. That's amazing. Wow. After the last performance we saw with Lewis Rumsey, Adam Milstead just melted right through him like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, he, he really... <laughs> Man, he, he was right in Rumsey's face. There was no intimidation. Yeah. And, and he made, he honestly, he made it look easy against a high-level fighter. Absolutely. If, if I had one wish right now, it would be that, that Cut and Run Productions would show me an instant replay of that knockout right up against the fence. 
uh, you know, he he just had he like you said, he stayed right in the face of Rumsey. No, he was right. He wasn't in there. intimidated at all, and there was no hesitation. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, the last time we saw Rumsey fight, it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of circling, a lot of playing, but uh, yeah, it, it it was just very very determined. I think we got the. I think we got the replay, guys. Here comes the replay by Cut and Run. Here Big that shot left right hook. there. Big shot that rocks him, but he follows it up. He realizes this is the sign of a high-level fighter. Yeah. You realize when you got your man hurt, you close the distance. Notice Rumsey circling toward the, the rear hand of... of I'm um, circling towards the power. Yep. The right hand is the power, and he rocks Whoa. him again, but here's the one that really does it. Right. Come on, come on. Oh. oh, we're so far away from that knockout right now. We can keep it rolling, guys, here. We're going to see this in a second. Oh! There's the shot. Right there. Right on the wow. ear. Equilibrium's gone. And All right, let's job. send it over to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, for the official decision. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, the end hey. came at 1 minute and 10 seconds when referee Chip Snyder stopped the fight due to strikes for your winner by technical knockout out of the red corner. Adam, the prototype, Malstead! Like a million bucks. Is that how you expected this fight to go? No, I ex Sorry. well. You gotta go out that way, bro. Okay, I tried to, you know, I try to expect that, but I, I'm just, I want to come in here and have fun. That's all, and uh, put on a show for all the fans and all my friends. Thank you guys. Do you have anybody else you want to thank tonight? Uh, there's a ton of people. There's a lot of people I gotta thank, and I know a lot of you guys know who you are, but uh, you know I gotta thank my cornerman. For being here tonight i mean you guys really helped me out through everything uh and then all my friends fans uh also uh toast supplement or toast uh pain relief products they sponsor me great guy steve thank you so much and uh the rest of you guys uh we're gonna be uh partying at smoky bones tonight so if you guys want come on out for a few beers congratulations adam we're glad you're back Welcome back, buddy. His next fight, now if anybody wants to see it, the next fight will be at King of the Cage, September 26th at the Casino, Meadows Land Casino in Cannonsburg. Um, he's fighting Robert Morrow, am I correct? Yes. Go down and support Adam, support him down there as well, and let's watch you continue your track to the UFC. Thank you. Adam Milstead. Let's hear it again for the prototype. That's King of the Cage brought to you by Lucas Oil at the Meadowlands. We've got our main event coming up next. Grab what onto whatever you grab onto. We're yeah, going to try absolutely. to get these 50-50 or these raffle tickets out of the way as quickly as possible. Thing, We've got dude, limited time. He is definitely on the radar of the UFC. Yeah, 100%. I mean, there's no reason to not want to have that guy around. He just, he looks this like a politician and he fights like a killer. Bears. He's got the face, he's got the look, and he's not afraid to fight yeah, anybody. Absolutely. You know, gladiators of the Cage, this is another person who's gone through the ranks of Gladiators of the Cage is right on the radar of making the biggest show in the world. Yeah, he worked his way up from the bottom, that's for sure. And here he is now, co-main event, great knockout victory in the first round. Yeah, against a, a very talented and traveled opponent. Absolutely. Coming up next, we've got our 155-pound lightweight title. We've got Robert Hanna taking on Mike Wilkins. It's going to be a great fight, 155 pounds. The title is on the line. But first, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 